up my peeps it's your boy big kill and y'all already know we is living over here and welcome to the first episode of our luigi's mansion playthrough baby let's get it let's go ahead and get into this man if you ever played luigi's mansion it came out for the gamecube back in i don't remember does it have a date down there i think 2001 it said yeah i think i was in high school when this came out yeah 2001 bam bam all right this is like one of the first gamecube games as well so we're gonna start on file two because this is one i beat before that's got the hidden mansion and all that stuff <laughs> we ain't got time for that so we're gonna go ahead and jump into file two start a new game let's go let's see what's up with our homie luigi bruh oh he out here walking out in the woods by himself you a brave boy <laughs> oh oh yes so he got the bad story homie got a mansion he want a mansion it ain't what it looked like in the picture, though. And his brother Mario went on ahead of him, you know, because Luigi's always following behind, but, you know. There's some ugly crows. But, yes, guys, I'm excited, man. Another playthrough. We finished off Super Mario 64, so I can't wait to jump into this one. I think I played this a lot again, like two or three years ago when I beat it before, but it's cool. Homie is scared. <laughs> Sorry, Luigi, bro. All right, so we starting off. Here we go. I don't have control of Luigi yet, but um, it's just you know showing us some dynamic cutscenes of this entryway of this hidden mansion. We obviously can't go through that front door, but we finally got control of Luigi. Um, if you haven't played this game, you can control the light and the poltergeist with the C stick, which is what I'm doing now, up and down, left and right. Um, I like these controls. A lot of people do what's called side controls. Um, you can press A on things and, you know, see what's up. But if you just press them while walking, Luigi will shout out Mario as he's looking forward to playing. All right, so we can't go there, but we'll get hurt. We don't want to do that. Um, there's no door this way. And there is a door this way, but I think it's blocked. Actually, that, oh, yeah, it's locked. Okay, not blocked. Door locked. Bam, bam. Alright, where you at, Mario? So, yeah, Luigi's looking for his brother. Alright, so all the doors were locked. Oh, what was that? Okay. Let's just make our way back downstairs now. <sighs> I guess we gotta leave. Oh. Okay. What's that? <laughs> like I said, both of y'all know about Luigi's Mansion by now. Let me make sure the video game music ain't too loud. Turn it down just a smidge, a smidge. Just a smidgey smidge, maybe just a little smidgey smidge, but all right, we'll find out in the post how that sounds and I'll fix it accordingly. But oh, looks whatever, whatever that spirit was dropped us a key. Let's go, boy. So now we should be able to get through one of those doors, which obviously is probably the big main one. So let's go ahead and go in. I'm gonna let this cutscene play, but I'm gonna tell y'all future breaks. I'm not gonna let all these cutscenes play. But, um, you know, because Luigi be acting scared, bro. Like, you stuck the key in there, brave, but you you scared to turn the door now, bro? You can do it. Go on in. All right. So, we in. Oh. Where's your flashlight, Luigi? This is the fall. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Luigi, man, you're a Super Mario brother. Like, it's a ghost. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Guys, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first game that this character was introduced. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'll fix some posts, but... I was correct. This is... Well, you know what? I'll let him... Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, let's give him some dignity and respect. He got knocked out. I'll let him introduce himself. <laughs> you all right, homie? Ouch. <laughs> Oof. I was sure... I should take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. <laughs> so he has a weird like dialect that you can tell. Anyway, this is Professor Ega, guys. Say hello. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. All right. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? I'm here to look for my brother, but we won this mansion. That picture looks an odd. Looks a lot. Oh, okay. Homie, uh oh, this looks ugly. You right, let's go. Um, all right, youngster, look lively. Follow me, post haste. Yes, let's get out of there, bro. I don't know why we was even in there. So, your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Okay, 
Hmm, where, where's this you ask? Yeah, where are we? Why these cozy quarters are where I do my, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost study. Okay. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, it's called the lab, bro. <laughs> if you're a short, if you're of a shortening mind. Okay, bro. <laughs> you won this mention in the contest, you, you didn't even enter? Yeah. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Facts, bruh. So you believe the mansion actually existed? Strange. Well, it don't exist. I was just in there, bro. What you mean? I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. What? The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely won't be too happy winning a haunted mansion. Well, it didn't look haunted in the picture, bruh. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping the chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? Nah, bruh, that's my brother. What? That guy was your brother? Heck yeah, bruh. Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. <laughs> you have to go after him. Yeah, homie was probably looking for cake. My brother gets distracted with cake. But yeah, oh, yeah. alright. So pretty much, Professor Egad is going to help us deal with the ghosts so we can go find our brother. Oh my god. A lot of controls. A lot in your face right now. Like I said, I don't do sidestep. I'm going to do standard because I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> That's the bad thing I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it. This is genius now. The Poltergust 3000. He can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. So that's like the um flashlight. We're gonna be able to use. I might have to change those damn birds or whatever. That's weird. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings and they can't be caught. Being. Okay, Bo, you talking too much. Anyway, so yeah, you got you can control the vacuum cleaner is what I call it, just like you control the flashlight. So you better get used to this and fall them, blah, blah, blah. So this is pretty much just the uh, training. So I'll just give y'all what he's talking about, a little backstory. So you want to hold B and B will cut off your flashlight. Then you want to shine the flashlight on the ghost. Once you see, oh, I messed up. But once you see the heart, you have to press the R button. I know some of the little ghost heart very vacuum up. I messed up because you're talking too much. So let's go ahead and do this. And then you start sucking with R. And you just have to pull back on the left stick. You suck them up. Alright. When that's the prize goes part appears that we know. I just did that, bro. Use the control stick. So, if you got them skills though, bro, you can leave them. Get two out of this one. Ooh, flash that boy. Flash homie. Flash him. <laughs> that's what I get to try to show off. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we you know. Use the control stick for dolls, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. We get it. Alright, let's not mess up this time. I want to catch two at one time, bro. Let's hurry up. Okay, they ain't hit me. They just didn't train. So yeah, they won't hit you, I guess, in training. So just have fun learning the controls, you know, sucking up stuff. Yeah, bro, bro, we're gonna go save my brother. And then they all go. Got you. So yeah, you can get two at a time, but just remember to hold back on the control stick. Yes, we know, blah, blah, blah. Yes, please, in training. God, I don't even care about that. We got six goals. Woo! Thank you, sir. Where's the door? Fine, fine. It looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How's my little cool down in the gallery? I'm proud of it, you know? So now we're going to go to the gallery. If you say no thanks, you'll do some more training. So this, as we progress through the story, uh, there's nothing you can do there. I tried, guys. There's nothing to get in there. But these are the pictures that the ghosts escaped from. Um, we'll go down here because this room is pretty. Yeah, this is where the big ghost got away whole bunch of gold in here, but there ain't no money in none of this stuff. You can check if you want. Um, oh god, I did not mean to turn that on. Sorry. Well, let's go back and talk to Professor E. Gad. Because again, he'll tell you about it. He's gonna tell us about it, but I just told you about it, so. Hey, bro. What's up? Welcome to the gallery. I once had 21 paintings in my famous ghost collection, but now they're only frames. What a crying shame. Unfortunately, there are only statues here now, but feel free to look around anyway. Use the expert to check the surroundings with that gable whore I gave you. Be sure to search suspicious places extra well. You can also check objects with A button by tapping or shaking stuff. Blah, blah, blah. We already got that. I know. There's nothing in the angel statue. So, what he's talking about the Game Boy whore, if you press X, and then if you just press A on the item you're looking at, it'll tell you about it. 
that's just supposed to help you, you know, as you progress to the game, find secrets, stuff like that. Which we'll use it a couple times. But it's funny because it looks like a Game Boy Color. And they call it a Game Boy Horror. Let's see. I've never pointed at EGAD. What does it say about EGAD? Where to go, genius? Do you have a hang of it? Okay. Wow. Okay. Thanks. Let's go. <laughs> Are you done? Appreciate the art for the day, Luigi. Yes. So now I want to go back to the lab. You want to make sure you go back to the lab. That's the only way you're going to progress. Um, where will we go, Luigi? Well, now we go back to the mansion. So... Let's start our adventure and go save our brother. So pretty much we're Ghostbusters, man. If you haven't really caught the gist of what we're doing in this game yet, we're going to hunt ghosts. We're going to go save our Mario. Save our brother Mario. Okay. All right, bro. You still scared? I swear it's literally the same first cut scene we saw when we first came in the house. Oh, Toad's here. Um, Just a little bit of stuff, though. Make sure you go ahead and pull this off. It's a mirror, you can look at it, but um, think about these mirrors or they warp points. If you do that, it will warp you. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they'll warp you back here to the foyer. Alright, so let's get out of that. Let's go ahead and talk to Toad. What's up, bro? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Where did you go, Mario? Why? Huh? Luigi? <laughs> what? Wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh, joy. Yes, sir, I made it. Thanks, goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you won that you had won a mansion, and he never returned. Then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere. And I'm kind of freaked out, bruh. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. I bet it's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you'll have no idea how upset the princess will be. There. She'll flip out. Leave it to me, bruh. So you want to console the toes. Don't say goodbye or he'll stay crying in the dark. But, you know, he'll light up the room if you tell him you'll take care of the stuff for him. I wish I did. You know, you got it. Blah, blah, blah. Just save the game. Yes. So Toad is pretty much like a save point for you guys. Nice. Thank you. All right. So let's see if there's any money in this one. So, yeah. Oh, God. I forgot. So do not walk under the chandelier. I forgot. It will fall on your head. I forgot about that thing. All right, yeah, we ain't calling Mario, bro. We focus. Now, hold on. I... Okay, I guess I can't change the seats pick up and down, but it's cool. Got to get used to playing this again, man. It's been a minute since I played this. I can't really mess with the chandelier, I don't think. Let's try. I think there's something in the chandelier. It might be some money. Yeah, there's money in the chandelier, bro. Yeah, just don't stand directly up under it. And then, yeah, you can suck up the money or you can run into it. Money is like, I mean, you know what money is. Mario's always collecting coins, but Luigi, he get dollar bills, dog. <laughs> Homie got to keep his mansion up and running. Oh, you just going to sleep. Do not do that, bro. I am streaming. We do not have time for that. Let's just back him up some more coins. I think there's more coins than this one. I just thought like, maybe if I do that. No, no coins. Get these. Let's check here. No coins. So now we're going back in that room where them, ghost, them ghosts came at us, bruh. And we're going to get them. So let's get this money first. So I think there's more money in here as well. Oh, no. This support the mushroom. Okay. Watch out for those. Those will take away your health. We don't want that. We can also suck up this. There ain't nothing there right now. But what we want to do is suck up this, these purple lights. Oh. Who put out the candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you, boo head. <laughs> now you're in for it, brig. <laughs> Just like the little red cat before you. Oh, you got my brother, bruh? You may want to lost in darkness forever. Nah, bruh. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Huh? Haha, <laughs> here they are now. Bring them, bruh. I've been training. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I've been training almost messed up. All right, so you just have to walk around. They will, they will spawn. This first one was pretty easy, but I'm messing up my lights. So oh my god, I'm about to change my controller. But this one is giving me a pain in the butt, so let's do that. Hold on one sec, guys. Let's mess me up. All right, let's get it. All right, let's go. I'm better. Uh, okay, I said that. I might have to side sell. Oh my god, I'm playing with this ass right now. 
Like I said, it's been a minute since I played Luigi's Mansion, bro. So, you know, got to get the controls back in. Yeah, we good, though. We getting there. We getting there. I like the controls better anyway. Awesome. So once you catch all the ghosts in the room, it'll light up. And then you can explore the room a little bit more because you can see. Oh, go bar, get that. That's money. Probably money in there. Get that money. So you will, like, after you clear a room, make sure you check all the furniture, either by punching it like Luigi doing or sucking it up with your back here. So there's probably some money around. All right, so we got everything in here. Let's open this chest. Another key. Let's go. And a cool thing about Game Boy Horror, it will show us where door the key goes to. So we're going to go in there. So let's go to the next room. I said, I like this game. We're not watching that cutscene. All right, there's a couple ghosts in here. As you see, we can't go back until we clear this room out. Now they're going to start coming out. Like, this is where they try to up the ante. Like, if you just bull crap and you're trying to wait to set up, like, multiple ghosts. Oh, got a pink one. These ain't really hard at the 20 HP. They do do a smash attack. So just, you know, treat them like the ones, but you'll be okay. No worries. Oh, nah, bro. Oh, no, bro. Where you go? Okay. He disappeared. Here, bro. Oh. Here, bro. Here, bro. Game over. Get out of here. Oh, we got one more. Okay. So, uh, oh, God, we got two. So, yeah, just try to line them up. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> bro. So, you have to be very careful with these ghosts, man. Because after a while, like I said, it does get serious. Look at this dodge, you know. Skip both. Oh. There we go. We got the pink one, but we gotta hurry it up. Ah, you got me again. Get out of here, bro. Jeebus, bro. I'm rusty, but golly. Nah, you going down this time. Get out of here, bro. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Alright, let's check these lights. They might have money. I don't see any coming out, so. And it don't take me time, like a lot of time for money and stuff to come out. Uh, nothing in there. Yeah, there's some money right there, though. Get it. So, yeah, everything doesn't have money in it, which I guess is trying to, you know, incentivize you to explore the mansion. All right, so we got all this stuff in here. Let's get out of here, bro. We didn't have a key for this room, so this room's already open. I will show you the mirror trick again, but let's um, get him out of there. It's just like he's crazy. I think this room introduces the big green ghost, and they don't really chase you, but they throw bananas down, and those bananas are annoying to you can and they can mess up your ghost pool. That's what I call it. So we're gonna hurry up and get, ah, uh, keep missing him, though. Get out of here, bro. Hate your guts. Get out of here. He got 40 HP, though. You got them though. So yeah, you gotta make sure you dodge the bananas and throw from the ground too. Because if you slip on those, like you lose a heart. Not really got it. Uh oh. I'm trying to dodge him while ah, I got a banana. See, that's what happens to be hit a banana. Get out of here, bro. Let's hurry up and get him, man. He doing too much. Too too much. Too too much, bro. Get out of here. He wasn't ready. Okay, so yeah, the room is clear because I think in this one, yep, there's one in that closet. You get him after you clear everybody else out. Don't get him, it's just annoying trying to get him after the fact. Alright, and if you pay attention, no chest fill this time. Why can't I get my heart? Okay. But I'll um, go ahead and get this. You guys will probably already see it, but if you don't, the key we need is right up here. So it's trying to show us how to pull the key down. We can do it with our vacuum. Nice. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. So this goes to the wardrobe room. But there's another room right there to our left. So we're going to go in that first. I don't think there's any more money in here. So once I get these controls down, bro, we're going to be straight. But let's go. Oh, it's another toe. What's up, bro? Ah, Mario, where are you? What? Boy, quit crying. Huh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi. <laughs> How lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. I bet you do, bro. Please, please, please save Mario. I've looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? I don't know, bro, but I'll find him. All right, so you save this little toad. Yep, there's something you can do. You can save for me. Thank you. 
And if you ever get lost, so you want to go to, I think it's, what is it, why? Yeah, if you press Y to bring up your map. And we're on this, this is where we are. Oh, we can zoom. So there we are on the second, oh my God. I messed that up. We're on the second floor and the key we need is right here on the second floor as well. So we gotta go back there, but that's a long road, man. Nobody got time for that. But that's when these mirrors come into handy. So you don't have to go back through all those rooms if you don't want. You can just use the Game Boy Horror, point it at the mirror, press A, and it should teleport you back to the main door. And there you go. It's like warp pipes, bruh. Now you could walk all the way back. We ain't got time for that. <laughs> All right, so now, yeah, I think the key said, yeah, the key is for that door right there. So let's head on in. Uh-oh. What's up? Mm -hmm. So e -Gab will also call you on the Game Boy Horror. Hold up a sec, Luigi. Whenever he wants to up, like, update your own stuff or, you know, plot progression. <laughs> it's me, Professor e -Gab. I know, bro. I didn't take spirits stronger than the ones you've been seeing lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escape gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you must first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise it. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. So we probably won't do that unless I forget like, how I'm supposed to capture the portrait ghosts. But they're pretty easy. I mean, like you said, now we're gonna follow these coins though, but that's money. Now, don't fall for that door. Come here, little mouse. Don't fall for that door. <laughs> now, don't get ate up by the little ghost either. But um, if you press Y and look, there's no door right there. That's a trap and it hurts. So where the only door open now here is this one. So let's go in. All right, we'll come in with the light off because. I think, hold on, I think you have a piece of cheese. Oh, what, what, what? I'm trying to do stuff. <laughs> the piece of cheese over here. And I think it gives you, yeah, a little gold mouse. So you want to try to suck up the gold mouse. And you get a whole bunch of money. Yeah, boy. Oh, I got an emerald too. Let's go. Nice. So everybody's probably like, why are you getting all this money, Brandon? Like, it's like coins in Mario, right? Kind of, sort of. Like, at the end of the game, they take all the money you found in the mansion, and that's how they, like, determine how well you did. So with him, it's pretty simple. You just have to wait until he yawns, so just turn your back to him. When he yawns, the talk will show, and you can get him. But watch out for the book. I'm going to try to give him one go, but I don't know if I can. Now, if you get them to half health, they will drop a poison mushroom. Yep, and don't get hit by it. You can get them all in one go, you'll get more money. As you can see these pearls on the ground, that's, that's money, bruh. When you get more pearls, the perfect ghost you get. Nice. I think that was perfect. I think there's money in this fishbowl. Maybe not. You can check the bookcases. Oh, no. We're not reading the book. No, 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 no. We already did it. The book was just going to tell me about the cheese. We already got the cheese in the dark. We don't want to do that again. I don't really see anything too crazy. Is there any money in here? Yeah, give me them dollar bills, boy. Give me them dollar bills. All right, let's open the key box. <laughs> nice, another key, let's go. So yeah, we just rocking it out, man. Like, we getting it. Now, I think I got time to do one more ghost and then we'll probably have to end the episode. So let's, well, not one more ghost, I mean, but one more room. So let's do that. The next one is all the way down the hallway. Again, just dodge the little, you can suck them up, or you can dodge them. I think this is it. Again, yeah, make sure you check your map because that right there is a fake door as well. I guess I can show you what happens if you go to a fake door. Yeah, you lose like 10 HP, so be careful. And they'll laugh at you. <laughs> but now let's head on in here. Room we got the key for. And let's see what's happening in here. So this one's pretty easy too. Um, she's right there. You turn your back, you'll see her. She's not going to show her heart unless, you know, you bring these curtains back. And if you do, it'll bring a breeze, and then we can get a heart. And the second bird save is the first. You want to try to get her in one go. Be careful. Just keep pulling back on the stick. Once she's down to half health, she will really there. Ah, that hit. So that wasn't a good one, but it's okay. You got, you got a little moment. So she'll close the blinds. 
which all you have to do is open them again. And then you can put it through up. Like I said, if you don't get them the first time, it's okay. That's it. All it does really, you will know if you got them good the first time or if you got enough money off of them once you go check their frame and love. But I don't think I did. I was supposed to have uh, the same amount of little big. And there's another mirror here. Awesome. And there's some money. So let's get this money. Let's check what she was sitting. Mario. And you see there's another toad outside. That's the toad that we went and saved earlier. So that's cool. I don't think there's anything here. Not that I remember. I don't think there's anything behind that curtain. Not there. I think there's something in the bed, maybe. Or maybe I'm just I'm no okay. Maybe like that's what it is. I can pull that off and there. Oh, gold bar. We take those. And let's check the fan. Yes, always remember to check the fans, guys. I don't really see nothing now. I'm trying to blow the fan at the second time. I don't see nothing. Let's go this way. See if I can uh, I don't think nothing's in the fan. Nah. Alright, let's get the key. <laughs> oh no, my screen went to sleep again. I gotta fix that. My computer screen keeps going to sleep. I don't think it's messing up the stream or anything, but you know. Got it, nice. So, that's gonna be the last room that we clear today, because the next room is right there. Oh god, it's right there. And we'll clear that one on the second episode, guys. So, first off, we need to save. Whoa, whoa. Maybe to press X, not X. Is it Y? Wait, why am I not? Game of Horror. Get it together. That's the wrong one. Okay, is it Y? But my Y button's not working. Oh, right, did it switch my stuff again? There you go. I fixed No, I think I fixed it. Yep, I fixed it. Oh, I hate that. Anyway, so we're just going to point in the mirror. <laughs> and now we're back to the foyer beside the toe. So, guys, oh, I'm up under the shade. I keep forgetting to get up under the shade layer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save. <laughs> yes, sir, we're just saving. We're just saving. We got a little money. But, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Mario. <laughs> we just say more. He's looking for his brother. But yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay living out there in the streets, guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Episode 2 will be out in a week. Alright, bye.